Welcome back to Ever Talk Live. Do you want a life you are obsessed with? I oh, do. I do, I do. too. Yeah. Rachel O'Rourke is with us, and she is helping us do just that. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. You guys are amazing. Oh, thank you. Tell me more. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is all about you and what you've done in the community you've created with Spark. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, Spark started in 2017. I had gone through a life transformation and read my first ever personal development book and just wanted to teach everybody about it, but I couldn't get a speaking job because everybody wanted this thing called experience. Yeah, and a platform. And a platform, yeah, and I had none of that. So I decided to build my own stage and launch the first ever Spark event, which is a two-day personal development summit for women, women who are ready to go through some sort of transformation, and they want the support in the community to do so. And ever since then, it's doubled in size every year. We're looking at like 600 women at the Oregon Convention Center in, in September, and it's grown into an online school and just this beautiful community of women who are really making some massive changes. It's remarkable. So exciting. I love it. What was the first book you read? You mentioned a book and I'm yeah. obsessed with books. So. You are a badass. Yeah. Jen Sincero. Yes, I yes. love that. Oh, it was the first time I'd ever heard about meditation and visualization as you guys were just talking about. And I was at a point where I was so miserable with my life that I was like, I'll try anything. And it was crazy how quickly it started working. And then as you start doing, taking the action you trust, then things start changing so rapidly. But before you take that action, it can be a very dark time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It can be very scary. In fact, it can be more scary to try and make a transformation than it's to true. live in that misery. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think you have to get to the point sometimes, and it doesn't have to be that way, because even if you're not miserable, you can start manifesting a life that you're obsessed with. But people sometimes get to a point where they're like, it's this, or it's like, I'm not going to be here anymore. Yeah. And I, thankfully, I wasn't suicidal, but I was at the point where I was like, there's got to be more than this. There's got to be more yeah. than this. And um, actually, I asked the universe for a sign. I was like, give me a sign, and I will listen to whatever you say. And on the way to work, I got a, the radio was acting weird. It kept shutting off. And then it turned back on, and this song came on. And the song was, there's got to be something more by this band called Sugarland. Yeah, oh, that's right. funny. That yeah. The universe has a sense of humor. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, well, I went in and I quit my job that day. And wow, that was the same the, day. Same day. Same day. And yeah. I was like, okay, there's my sign. I told you I would listen. And I listened. And that was the first year that I launched my, a marketing business because I have a mar marketing background. And then I launched Spark ah. in the same year wow. and just started really th just visualizing what I wanted my life to look like and actually thinking about what do I actually want in my life? So many people don't even ask themselves that question. Yeah. They're just given this hand me down belief system from society and their parents. And they just, go on their little merry way and then end up one day and they're like, how the heck did I get here? Yeah. So there's um, two pieces to that I hear you sort of sharing. One is like the action journey, the actual physical steps you took, and then it's the emotional journey. Mm -hmm. It's like the visualization and all that. So talk to us about that. Like what were the best things you did from an action perspective and the best things you did from an emotion perspective? Well, every time, I mean, for the action piece of it, I mean, that's probably the scariest part for yeah. people. I mean, because you can, visualize and think about what you want but when it comes to actually like yeah. leaping and trying something it's terrifying and it's most of the time it's because you're doing something you've never done before and so they're kind of tied in for me anytime I would have an opportunity and I was like gosh I don't know if I can actually do that then I would have to really reprogram my mind through affirmations and through visualizing and for really getting into my own head and thinking like what do I actually want to believe like if I believe this is going to be hard, then it's going to be hard. But if I believe this can be fun and easy, then maybe it will be. And guess what? Like that's how life works. You get what you expect to happen. And it's been an everyday practice of expecting more and believing that more is possible for me. So how do you teach clients to remove kind of the guilt and shame around expecting more? Because oh, it's yes. so important to be grateful for what you have and live in gratitude. But it's okay to still be in that place and want more. Absolutely. Well, I think. A lot of it is just recognizing where that came from. Where did your beliefs about what your worthiness comes around? And so much of it goes back to your childhood and what your parents had and how you were brought up and what you saw on TV, the content that you consumed. I mean, I remember watching Full House and thinking like, <laughs> yep. I wish I had a life like that. <laughs> I was raised by a single mom and we struggled. Uh, and so once you can see like, okay, now I kind of understand why I've gotten this way and realizing that you have the power to change it, then you can start implementing stuff. And so when you think about like, okay, I actually want this, but do I feel selfish for it? Or do I feel like it's not possible? Well, okay, I 
decided before that I wanted to, but why am I feeling this way? It was probably from some sort of programming that I got. Just that recognition piece, it's like 80% of the work, because then you can decide what you want to believe. And it really is a practice. Every time you do it, you strengthen a little neural pathway in your mind, and you start to actually believe. Uh, and something as simple as affirmations really does help, because you can reprogram your brain by whatever you hear or take in repeatedly, even your own words. Yeah. Mm. I heard a fantastic interview once with um, Ava Mendez, and um, she was having, um, experiencing like survivor's guilt or like success guilt, because she's like, I don't feel like I've sort of earned or deserved this much money and this much fame. Yeah. And so she went to see a therapist, and the ther therapist said, you know, you're not going to need to come back again. All you really need to do is start giving the money that you've made away. It'll help to solve it. And I think that's one of the greatest sort of mm. tips, too, is that the more you get, the more you can give. It's so right? true. And you're I, doing that with Yes, spot. I yeah. had the hardest time with that because all of a sudden I was making more money than I ever thought was possible. Yeah. And yeah. it became, I started to feel really selfish. But it's not about me. When you earn, like when you have money and you want to be able to do like big changes in the world, then you can think about it as a way of like, oh, I can serve more yes, now. Right. And every time I start to feel that way, and I'm like, stop making it about <laughs> yourself, Rachel. Yeah. Because there's so my money is just energy, and I want to have a lot of really positive energy out into the world. So I'm going to infuse my money with positivity and make a difference with it. I love that. That's, That's why it's called currency, right? Exactly. Close. Yes. Yeah, keep it yeah. I never heard that. <laughs> 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 you know? yeah. The best so expression. What's next for you? Well, we're gearing up for the Big Spark Portland September Summit. Awesome. Uh, early bird tickets end on Saturday, wow. so. Make sure you hop on if you want to get a really good price on it. And we're just, it takes so much to put on a conference of this magnitude, but it really is life changing. And we're just growing the community the other 363 days of the year um, because women really need the support. And men do too, but we focus primarily on women because right now is a, a really big time in the country and the world for, for women who are really wanting to step up and grow into leadership positions or just really be happy for the first time in a long time. Absolutely. Just yeah. love that. So where can people buy the tickets and find you online? We are spark.us. Everything is on there. Right. Yeah. Thank yeah, we hope, you. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate the spark you've created in oh, our community. Oh, thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be back for more at Ever Talk Live.